away from them and redirected it, so we got the Republic. And from the time of the Jacobins in 1800, they have always been swearing to retake this country. And it is a political philosophy of order out of chaos. And until the public figures that out, we don't have a snowball's chance in Hades of doing anything about this. I mean, this is so serious that I'm like someone that's lost family members. I, I mean, this, watching this country die. I, I mean, I'm not put, putting on a joke here. The crew knows it. I'm barely, almost didn't go on air today. Because I don't, I, I don't know if I can sit here for three hours and even look at this going on anymore. Man, I mean, and then I look at the yuppies who've been pre-programmed to take everything like it's no big deal. And to take the border being fully imploded and Democratic Party operative churches, I mean, the Catholic Church called for it two years ago, all these big Baptist churches, Methodist churches, I don't care who they are, they're doing it, down there busing the illegals in saying all immigrants are just humans, let them in. But I can't go to any of their countries and get anything free. No, it's only politically correct that we pay for everything, and it's a total plan. And then even the liberty movement doesn't understand what's happening to them. I see the headlines about crisis on the border. It's not a crisis in the word the, the, the people are saying, like, it just happened. We've got on screen right now, if you're a TV viewer, Shots of the buses coming in from Mexico with the kids with no parents being put on church buses and shipped to churches. And we've got our reporters there. I want them to tenaciously go in and say, uh, who's funding this? And where are these children's parents? And, and, and nicely ask, you know, oh, so these children are from Mexico. And again, there's no border patrol now. They've been told, stand down. At the border, the buses pull in, past the border patrol. They pull up, their kids get off, they get on buses and come into the U.S. They're, they're in the U.S., but if I want to go to Mexico and I fly in, why is your passport only got a year left on it? Uh, what are you carrying your bags? Uh, you, are you a drug dealer? And I always look at them, I'm flying in from Europe, doesn't matter, and I go, everybody knows the government ships most of the drugs in and launders the money. I, I don't have any drug record. You just scanned my passport. This is all just social engineering to make me feel like I'm a bad person that can't be trusted. You know this country's wide open. Folks, I've been flying all over the country and seeing the illegals waving a piece of paper, consul matricula, and the TSA takes them to the head of the line and they let them through with no, no, no proof. The truth is it's all a joke, okay? The TSA and the Border Patrol are there to train us. Now, the Border Patrol's been doing a hard job for a long time. Now they're like TSA, and they don't like what's happening. But now they're being told, you're there to supply diapers and hot formula to the illegal alien babies when the mamas get off the planes and when the mamas come across. I mean, this, this, this is 100% premeditated revolution against this country. And it's the MS-13 and the Mexican Mafia and all of this totally racial, totally criminal, totally dedicated all over the United States. I mean, really, they don't really target white people. The MS-13 and, and, and targets other Hispanics and blacks. And that's a well-known phenomenon from Texas to California of some weekends, 20 plus blacks are shot as their old gang territories are destroyed and shoved into tiny black islands. That's part of what's going on in Chicago. I mean, this is just a mess, folks. This is a total mess. There it is. Mexican cartels allegedly hired MS-13 to carry out torture operation in Minnesota. And, and these, 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 these drug cults worship the Grim Reaper, folks. So they're all, it's a death cult, into being killed, so, so the police are scared of them, too. Just totally desperate people from a totally failed, collapsed Mexico where now a female and male version of the Grim Reaper are worshipped. I'm not talking about Day of the Dead, folks, where you remember your ancestors. I'm talking about actual death worship. And the average American has no idea what's even going on. I mean, this country is in free fall right now. Free fall.
This is the age of revolution. The globalists are bringing in the collapse worldwide. Undoubtedly, this is only the beginning. It's only going to accelerate now. And we're just sitting here watching it. The worse it's got to get before people stop complying with the system. We have a system where justice has been turned on its head, where everything is inverted. I mean, you can type into a search engine, churches call for borders to be opened, churches call for all migrants to be legalized. That's 7 billion people. That destroys markets. When someone at IBM, all the IBM engineers I know, I know four of them, <clears throat> in a neighborhood I lived in years ago, stayed, stayed in contact with them, all of them lost their jobs in the last four or five years. They were made to train Indian replacements who were paid about a quarter what they are, and then they lost their jobs and their Indian replacements trained more Indian replacements, and then they had their pay cut even more, and then IBM moved to India, and the standard was so low that it didn't even raise the standard of the Indians. See, you would pay the Indians a good amount and pay the Americans a good amount, and then everybody could buy services from each other, and that raises the standard. Ross Perot talked about this. This is well-known Economics 101. If you want economics to pay your people enough so they can buy your Ford Model T. That's not done now. And it's done to destroy the country. And it's that issue that I come to grips with. That now the illegals are here being hired and they're replacing what's left of American workers. And then those people just go on the unemployment rolls or get a part-time job. And then you can't pay the taxes and regulations of the part-time job, so you finally give up and go on welfare. And they've got well over 50% now on welfare. Over 100 million people are on welfare now. And I said that in a video last week, and uh, I saw comments on the YouTube saying, you're a liar, 100 million aren't on welfare. So I went and I searched it, and there it was, 101 million, 800 and something thousand about a month ago from the Department of Labor and statistics saying that. 100 plus million people are on welfare. Of some form or another. Right at 50 million on food stamps on top of it. What do you do under an Agenda 21 Cloward and Piven program? And, and we're living it. And it's going to destroy the country. And it's going to turn us into a third world hell pit. With cops in black uniforms with machine guns everywhere like North Korea. And our government is openly arming Al-Qaeda and other Wahhabis out of Saudi Arabia all over the Middle East, set them up a base on the Iraq border with Syria, and then launch this ISIS attack, launch this ISIS attack, potato, potato, Launch this ISHA attack. Now, there's the headline. Over 100 million now receiving federal welfare. Let's scroll down. That's uh, out of the Washington Examiner. But the figures are out of the U.S. Census Survey of Income Program Participation. Senate Budget Committee. Yeah, 100 plus million. And then that's not counting the 30 million illegals. And then I'm sitting here... Knowing all the players, knowing the groups, Baghdad's about to fall with that $10 billion embassy. It's a giant torture control base. It's going to be a Saudi Arabian command base hooked into all the wireless cameras and surveillance grids so that Saudi Arabia, through Iraq, can now launch an attack on Iran, a replay of the Iran-Iraq war of the 80s. And our controlled corporate whore media knows the public so neutralized and brain damaged that they're telling them that Obama 
you know, doesn't know what to do to fight al-Qaeda taking over Iraq. It's all premeditated.